Hello everyone, and welcome back to this quick, very quick revision of the part 4 of the Maya 2010 Render Passes tutorial. The reason why I'm, I'm redoing this is simply because I realized that uh, I just greatly overcomplicated the process previously. Uh, we don't need that many pass contribution maps. Uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and use that time to show you a quick previs um, trick so you can visualize your um, your passes before committing to a big render. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm in my render layers and uh, this is my master layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and recreate a render layer by selecting the stuff I want in it. In this case is the room and uh, the light and basically the simple scene we have. Uh, this button here is um, create new layer and assign selected object. Alright, let's rename the layer Cornel underscore RL for render layer. And then I'll show you my quick tip right away. So what you can do right now is uh, right click on the render layer and go to attributes. And then if you come down here in the attribute editor, you can see a sub menu uh, named render pass option. Let's open this. And you see here, it's very limited. Uh, there's not as many render passes um, than you could normally do with a big render, but um, there's a few here that could be useful uh, if you want to just make sure everything is okay or, um, you know, just, just for previous purposes. So right now, beauty is checked, so if you render, and that's associated with the actual render view um, here. So if you uh, uncheck beauty, for example, and put, uh, let's say, specular, and you go ahead and render, well, you have just your render pass visible. Uh, which is kind of cool. It's you know, uh, there's not that many uses for it, but uh, it, it 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 could be useful. Uh, let's say global illumination only. Render. There you go. You see, now you see only your um, global illumination. So it's I don't know. It's kind of cool. Let's go back to that beauty. Close this. And let's go ahead with the render passes and uh, pass contribution map. So I keep everything selected. On my render layer, I right click, pass contribution map, create pass contribution map, and add selected. There you go. I'm going to rename it Cornell Passes. So we just create one. That's all we need. Um, now, in the previous video, I explained to you that render layers are basically a way to separate your scene uh, into literal layers or mini scenes or scenes within the scene uh, to make it uh, cleaner or to have more control when you, you compose it. Uh, but you don't need to do a pass contribution map for every pass you want to do. So let me show this to you. Go to the render globals under passes. Here it's create new render pass. Push this. Uh, I highly recommend putting a prefix. So right now it's Cornell passes underscore. And what you can do is just add as many passes as you want in one, one go. So uh, let's grab ambient occlusion. By uh, holding the control key, you can multi select stuff. So I'll grab camera depth, diffuse without shadow, indirect lighting, uh, reflections shadow and specular and do create close boom we got our passes ready to go now we associate them with the, pa the, um, the current render layer boom pick them again pick our only pass contribution map sorry and boom done one more thing you need to check uh, and that's only for the AO uh, if you double click on it here uh, you may want to use your local settings um, Depending on your, your, your scene or your needs, um, you could use global settings. I prefer to make sure and uh, override everything. So I use local AO settings. For this particular scene, it's going to change for you, but for this particular scene, uh, I use 128 rays, I, a spread of 0.85, and a maximum distance of 2.5. You're going to have to troubleshoot and test and trial and error those numbers in your own scenes. Um, but that's really great. You know, you get a nice AO pass. So let's close this. 
and we're basically ready to batch render this scene. Um, well, first I want to thank you for your patience because it took a while to update this video. And I'll see you uh, right now in part 5 where we're going to composite um, the resulting render. See you later. Thank you.